Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my Priceline 40% off cosmetics sale, which I have been watching them all afternoon and now I'm just like so excited to finally film mine and actually upload it for you guys. So I'm super excited. I did go on one of the days and I did snowcally go on a second day as well, but um, I picked up a couple of goodies. I had no intentions of buying anything in particular. Um, I just wanted to go and just kind of pick up whatever I could find. So I did pick up a really, really good amount of products, something that I have never tried before. Actually, majority of them um, I actually have never tried before. So all of these are brand new and they're like so strong, so I cannot wait to try them. So if you guys want to see my Priceline haul, then just keep watching. Okie dokie, so first thing that I want to share with you guys is something that I actually went and picked up on a second day. Um, Holly, if you're watching this, I did go on the second day and I knew that you said that I was going to go and I told you that I wasn't, but I actually did go. But if I didn't go on the second day, then I wouldn't have been able to pick up the new, uh, or it's relatively new, the Australis AC on Tour Cream Contour Kit. Um, they actually were out of stock of the ones that we went to the first day. And I mean, like, it's just so beautiful. Like, it's, oh, you can see everything. Um, but yeah, super pretty. Haven't used it yet. If you've tried it, let me know. It just looks lovely. Um, I just want to, like, I want to touch it, but I don't. Um, I'm going to touch it. I'm going touch it. Oh my god, I don't want to touch it. It just looks so pretty. Ooh. 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 That's nice. I am super excited to try this. If you guys have tried it and you like it, let me know. Or if you don't like it, let me know as well. Um, but yeah, they've only got the color light. I don't know if it comes in a medium or a dark. I'm not too sure. But I got the light color and it looks like they are decent colors. So I will give it a go and hopefully you guys will see it in a tutorial. Now, second Astralis thing that I actually ended up getting was super exciting. And I've actually seen a lot of people uh, purchase these on the makeup social and a lot of people were posting photos. And I was super excited about it. And these are the little travel size of the Astralis Velour Lips. Um, I actually ended up getting the dark, the darks and reds one, which this one includes Melbourne or Melbourne, uh, Mumbai, Mumbai, I don't know, uh, Budapest. Doesn't that word just like make you giggle? It's just like pash. Ha <laughs> ha. Like I'm mentally 12 years old um, and back in primary school. Um, and then there's also Dubai and NYC. Now I do own NYC, which is the really, really bright one, but the rest of them I don't own. So I am super excited to try these out. And they also got two other kits as well, which have uh, the lighter colors. But I thought that I would give the darks a go because I don't own any of them and I'm just super excited. And they're mini, so they're super cute. And this actually came down to like... I think it was like eight or nine dollars. I think it was. So it was super cheap and it's just a really good way of trying out the colors. So I am super excited to try these. And if you have a favorite color in the Velour Lips actual collection, let me know and I will give them a go. Oh my God, you guys, I went ham on Essence products. You know what? It's literally like I went there and I was just like, Oh my god, Essence is literally like mega affordable and everything is going to come down to like super, super cheap. This is like the conversation that I'm having in my head and I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to try out so much stuff. So I was literally like, okay, let's just pretend that this is my basket, right? I was just like, oh my god, that lipstick's like originally $4.95. Oh my god, it's going to come down to like $2 something. That's going in my basket. That was literally like my logic between everything that I bought. So I ended up going a little bit cray, <laughs> as you do, on Essence products. So I ended up getting one thing from the newest collection, which is called Naughty Girl. And um, I ended up getting one of their lipsticks. I actually own both of them now. So this one is a super pretty uh, corally color. This is Miss Navy number one. And this is just a really nice, like, tangerine-y kind of orangey red, hybrid, beautiful, beautiful. Beautifulness. I love this. I think it's super, super pretty. So I ended up getting that. Um, and if you can get your hands on them, they are really nice colors. The other one's more peachy toned. Um, they also have these new liquid lip glosses. Um, these are kind of like a hybrid between a lip gloss and a liquid lipstick. It's more glossy than a liquid lipstick, but it still has the color payoff of a liquid lipstick. It's kind of weird. It's like a hybrid. Um, I do also own two other colors as well, which I did purchase while I was in the Sunshine Coast. I did upload a haul, which I'll have linked down below, but this one in particular is called For Show Off, and it's a really pretty coral color, and I just realized it's very similar to, um, oh no, it's not really that similar, but it's, um, that's like one swipe. 
type and it's just this one, Rolt Her. Um, very pretty. It's not too sticky at all. They're more of a creamy formula. They smell heavenly, just like, oh, they're all over the packaging. Good job. I'm just going to put that down so I don't have red all over me. Um, but yeah, super pretty, very pigmented and um, they are more creamy than sticky, which is awesome. Um, there is also a new line of lipsticks and these are more of like the, I don't know what they're called, they're like the sheer formula. So they still have a decent color payoff, but they are more sheer, but they're super comfortable to wear. They do wear off quite quickly though, but they are very pretty and they're only like $4.10 or something crazy like that um without the 40 percent off which is great i know um so i ended up getting two of them because i just love sheer lipsticks in summertime that i love wearing lip balms and all that kind of stuff in summer so i ended up getting two of them uh first one is 12 candy love and it's just a really nice everyday pink um so i'll just show you guys like you can see it's very 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 sheer but you can build the color up um not very opaque but it, you can still see it when it's on the lips it's just a very sheer wash of color, um, really good for everyday wear, and um, they're just very comfortable. And the second one that I got is 11 All About Cupcake, which, holy guacamole, you guys, this is like the sheer version of the lipstick that they used to have, which was also called All About Cupcake, um, which I was totally obsessed with, if you remember. Um, so this is that one there. It's very sheer, and it's the same kind of color, but a sheerer version. They smell like MAC lipsticks. Holy guac, you guys. You need to go sniff these. So these are really, really nice. Just very sheer formula. Lovely. I love it. I love it. Sticking with the lips from Essence, I picked up two lip liners from them because they came down to like a dollar something, which was, I mean, it's cheap as chips. So it's awesome. So I ended up getting another one of the Wish Me A Rose, which is a really nice um, neutrally pink shade. And then I also ended up getting this one, which is 8 Red Blush, which is kind of like a maroon red color. Very pretty. And of course, it will go with majority of the red lipsticks that I own. So I got both of those because they were super, super cheap. And um, I mean, you can never, you know, you can never go with too many lipsticks. They're just amazing. And I was just like... They've gone straight in my bath. They unloaded. They came home with me. Um, so I also saw, which I was really surprised that I didn't actually know about this, but they actually have brought back in their concealers, which I used to be in love with when they first introduced Essence into Australia. Um, and then I don't know what happened to them, but they've brought them back in. I saw that they had them and I bought them all that were available. So I ended up getting three of them. And um, if you guys remember what they look like, you remember, oh... I'll keep dropping everything. So I bought three of them. I bought two of them in 10, which is soft, uh, sorry, 10 is natural beige and 20 is soft beige. So there was three left and I was standing there contemplating how many to buy. And I was having a little bit of a selfish moment. And you know, when there's like a sale on and you want to buy like, two but there's three left and you're like I'm just gonna buy that third one so no one else can buy it like I was having that kind of moment so I just bought all of them uh, because they were again super super affordable so um, I'll quickly just swatch both of them so you can see what the difference is so this one is 10 and this is the lightest out of them all so this is a very yellowy toned concealer and then this is 20 um, and it's only like a hair shade darker. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but this one, what one's that again? So this one is 20, which is uh, soft beige. It looks like it's slightly more pinky tone and then 10 is more yellow tone. Um, a little bit lighter, not too much of a difference, but um, I mean, I used to love these and I still really do like them. So yeah, still super cheap. And um, if you can get your hands on them, definitely try it. Also just got a backup of the Make Me Brow um, in the blonde color because I do really, really like it. Um, so yeah, I just got a backup of this because why not? I also ended up getting a backup or a repurchase because the one that I'm using at the moment is literally just almost gone. Um, this is the Rimmel Stay Matte uh, Pressed Powder and this is in the color Transparent, which is the translucent shade. I just love it when these are new because there's like a beautiful imprint and they're just stunning. And I love these for setting my under eye area. Um, it just gives a really, really slight tint, not much at all because it's supposed to be transparent, but it just seems to do a really good job of just like brightening the under eye area. 
area. So I am quite a fan of this. I will forever repurchase it because I think it is amazing. Um, and then also from Rimmel, I got one of the lipsticks from the new Kate Nude range, which I am wearing at the moment. Love it. Super, super pretty. And this is in number 42. And I actually own 40, which is the lightest one, but it is a really good shade to mix with lipsticks to make them lighter because it is a very, very, very nude nude. Um, so this one is number 42. Again, what I'm wearing, it is beautiful. And I think, I think it would suit majority of people to be completely honest. I think it's really nice. And then I'm just gonna just put a swatchy swatch down there. So that is that there. It is a super pretty nudie kind of pink shade. It's kind of rosy. It's kind of nude. It's kind of in between. It's like a hybrid. It's stunning. I love it. And they are very comfortable to wear. So I do highly recommend the nude range. And I know a lot of people like them as well. So they are fabulous. Um, just one thing from Savvy by DB. I got another one of their lip liners. And this one is the Nourishing Lip Liner in the color Dusty Rose. Oh my god. If I drop one more thing, I'm probably going to cry. In the color Dusty Rose, I'm not even going to pick it up because it fell and rolled like all the way over to the other side of the room. But it is a lovely, lovely mid-tone pink. Very pretty. Uh, I also ended up getting, oh, actually, this one's by Savvy as well. Sorry, I got two things from Savvy. This looks very interesting, which I was super excited when I saw this. Um, this is something that I've actually never seen before by Savvy or by a super affordable brand. I'm just trying to open it. So this I saw and I was like, um, get in my basket, like right now. This is the Savvy Contouring Face Defining Stick. And these seem to be really popular right now. So this looks like a really good gray tone, which I'll just quickly pop this. Like I don't want to use it too much because I still need to take photos of everything. But that's that one there. So you can kind of see it's more of like a gray tone, really taupey. Um, it looks like a really good contouring stick. So I'm going to give this a go. And if you guys want to see it in a tutorial, let me know, um, which I'll probably do it anyway. But let me know. Um, this is in the color Shadow. They've also got a highlighting stick, which I didn't purchase because I had way too many highlighters, but that looked interesting. And the last thing that I ended up getting were these really cute little lip balms. These are totally crap. I mean, I'm not going to lie. They're not good at moisturizing the lips, but they smell good and they're super cute. So I got three of them. I mean, why not? So I was actually planning on purchasing way more of them and then putting them in like a like a lolly jar or something that I keep on my desk. So I ended up getting three of them. So this one is in grape, um, giddy grape, really cute. And if you don't know what these look like, they, you just twist them. Mate, Vodafone's texting me. So this is what they look like. They kind of look like a little egg, super cute. They smell amazing. Just like really nice artificial grape flavor. I love that. I don't know why. Um, this second one is Bubblegum Bang. And this one is a really pretty hot pink shade. Again, they're all just clear. And then the last one I am the most excited about. This one is called Sweet Melon. It smells incredible. If you like Honeydew Melon, you'll love this. So these, again, are really not that good for moisturizing your lips. They're more so for an accessory, I suppose. But these were only like $3 each. Um, but if you're going to get a lip balm, get Carmex or Blistex or something that is actually going to moisturize your lips. Carmex is life. So um, yeah, but these are super cute and I think they're just, I mean, if they're all together, they're all really pretty colors and I just think they're really cute. So they totally suck at me and they're at the counter and I was just like, yes, like get in my basket. Like I love it. Clearly I have a problem and I need to sort that out, but I was actually very surprised by myself. I only spent $80, which was really, really good considering I usually spend well over $200. So I was very proud of myself. I'm very happy with everything that I've purchased and I'm super excited to try everything. So if you guys have tried anything in this haul, let me know in the comments down below and let me know what you purchased from the 40% off sale, which is so exciting. Um, yeah, I am just so excited to try everything. I really, really am. But again, let me know what you guys purchased and I will obviously put that on my list for next time but again thank you guys so much for watching this video I really appreciate you guys taking out the time to watch this video I hope you guys had an amazing day and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys